Grandma D and the Lost Continent, written by Mark Perlick. Exterior, ocean, night. A full moon illuminates the ocean as Red and Ethan cruise towards Andros Island in the Bahamas. When they're 100 feet from shore, Ethan drops anchor and sits back in his captain's chair with his feet up. You got binoculars? Ethan motions towards the cabin as he starts to doze off. Red retrieves the binoculars and scans the shoreline. Through the binoculars, she sees the distant glow of a campfire. She goes to the cabin, takes out the makeup from her backpack, and starts applying it to her face. It becomes a mixture of green and black, making her look like a camouflaged warrior. She then changes into a black shirt and exits the cabin. Checking if Ethan's asleep, she takes out a submachine gun and several clips of ammo from her backpack. She puts it all into a plastic bag and seals the bag. Red climbs down the ladder and silently starts swimming towards shore. <laughs> Exterior, Andros Island, shore inlet, night. Red appears from underwater looking the total commando with her makeup and dark clothes. She unseals her plastic bag and removes the submachine gun and clips. Red puts a magazine into her submachine gun and cocks around into the chamber. She stealthily heads toward the distant glow of a campfire. Exterior, Andros Island, night. Smiling man, 40, and his two assistants sit around a campfire. Grandma D is gagged and tied to a tree. Assistant number one plays a guitar as he and assistant number two sing a poor rendition of Puff the Magic Dragon. They gently harmonize together, much to the irritation of Smiling Man. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land crawl. Would you fucking idiots knock it off? He nods towards Grandma D and speaks quietly. What about her? Do you know Puff the Magic Dragon? Grandma D nods. No, you moron! What are we gonna do with her? What were we supposed to do with her? Get rid of her. I thought we were just supposed to scare her. That's not the way we work. Well, why do we have to get rid of her? She can identify us. Grandma D shakes her head. Aw, oh, come on! She ain't gonna tell anyone! No, you wouldn't tell on us, would you, Grandma? Grandma D shakes her head. Problem solved. Smiling Man screams at them. You fucking want to go back to jail? Well, I sure as hell don't. So, what do you want to do? Well, maybe if she signed an oath to... Fuck that! Just leave her to me. <laughs> he takes out a bowie knife. I'll take care of her, and nobody will find the body. That's just not right to do that to like, a nice old lady. <sighs> they sit in solemn silence for a moment. Assistant number one starts strumming his guitar and singing, Where Have All the Flowers Gone? Assistant number two joins in. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time passing. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time ago. Excuse me? What? I didn't say anything. They continue their song. Where have all the flowers gone? Young girls have picked them, everyone. Oh, when will they ever learn? Excuse me. The men look at each other, then jump up and grab their guns. Could you release the old lady for me? They point their guns towards her. Smiling man shines a flashlight toward the tree line, but is unable to see anything. Who's there? Okay, I'm giving you a chance to release her with no consequences. Come out. Come out here, or we start shooting. I'm sorry, I can't do that. We're not fucking playing games here, girl. I'm counting to three and you'd better come out. One, two... This is your last chance. Do you mind? I'm trying to count here. One... Fuck that! Just kill the bitch! Exterior, Ethan's boat, night. Ethan sleeps peacefully in his captain's chair. A couple gunshots wake him up. He listens intently, not sure what he heard. His eyes start to close again. The roar of a submachine gun causes him to fall out of his chair. He gets up and screams for Red. Red! Red, we're out of here, now! He frantically searches the boat. Where the hell are you? He suddenly realizes she's not on the boat. Oh, Christ, you stupid kid! Exterior, Andros Island, night. At the campfire, the three men have fled. Red quickly cuts Grandma D's ropes and removes her gag. Grandma D doesn't recognize Red with all her commando makeup. Who are you? Red! My God, what have they done to you? Red? But we've got to run. They'll be coming back. Red runs into the tree line as Grandma searches the campsite. Red runs back for her. 
What are you doing? I think they took my camera and other gear. She grabs Grandma and pulls her to the tree line. Is it worth dying for? They run into the trees. After they leave, distant flashlights shine on the campsite. They're gone. What the fuck's with the machine gun? Why don't we ever get automatic weapons? They come into their campsite. Assistant number one picks up his bullet-ridden guitar and cries out in anguish. What kind of a person would do such a thing? Come on. 